Okay, are we like five live? I think so. Ah, there we are. Okay, hello <laughs> everybody. Can I get an F5 in the chat? All right, welcome back. Sorry about that. Just a little technical uh, hiccup, little little delay. Uh, we are back and welcome to the Pylon Show, episode 119. I'm joined by two of my fellow Korea nerds. Gemini, welcome back. We have you on every fucking episode now, apparently. How are you yeah, doing? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm the new hot topic, man. I'm, I am, <laughs> I am so hot right now. You got to get on me right now. Yeah. Until, until, uh, trap starts losing and then and you yes. fucking, you move back to America and then it's, I, I basically, yes, the, the, I, I ride <laughs> the exact same roller coaster waves that <laughs> trap does anytime he's doing well and he's popular, then I ride that same high. And then once he's become shit again, back to irrelevancy, I go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome back and special congratulations. Oh, you made it Thank into Super you, Tournament man. and eliminated Rogue. Yeah, man. Incredible. Incredible feat. What happened? I was very really happy. Yeah. Um, well, welcome, guys. Uh, this is like, I know it's a weird time for the show right now. And we put it together a little bit last thing because we were thinking what we should do this week. And honestly, I, I want to uh, do preview shows for the tournaments. And Super Tournament starts tomorrow. So we can't very well do a preview show after the tournament has already been going on. So here we are the night before, and these guys were kind enough to join me. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it. All right, let's do let's do a preview show for Super Tournament. Sweet. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's uh, throw up the bracket and um, you know let me actually send this to Matt. I don't think I did. I'm so fucking not prepared. I'm sorry, guys. Here's the bracket in there. Okay. So, uh, as far as looking at this, like, obviously, Maru did not even try to qualify, right? Right. Yeah, it, I heard that, like, it's because of his shoulder injury. Like, he's supposed to take it easy for a little bit. Am I, am I nailing this right now? Mm, well, I talked to him, like, two weeks ago and asked him mm -hmm. why he wasn't playing. And he said he was just taking a break. And, oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah. And he, he said that that he would probably not play this tournament and just play Katowice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he, well, he also, but, and I played him yesterday on the ladder, so I think mm -hmm. he's playing now. Okay. Uh, and just to be clear, like, um, because this is before Katowice, it doesn't give points towards next year's Katowice. This does That's seed, it. though, into the first GSL Coda. So it's like, it's important, but if Maru was to miss one tournament this year, this is the one to miss as far as that's Korean right. tournaments go. Obviously, you never want to miss one, but like that's it makes sense. So just to clear that up for people, because a lot of people were looking at it and be like, oh, my God, what happened? Uh, now, there's some other players that are missing, obviously. T.Y., what happened to him? He got, got bopped. Yeah. Can you guys <laughs> lost, elaborate on this a little bit? <laughs> he lost to Sound. Who else? And to Dream. Yeah, the Dream one is, is pretty cool. I, I like Dream. I like it when Dream does well. I think he's a fun, exciting player. But uh yeah. the Zown, the Zown loss is pretty uh you 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 know there were some memes. You know there's there were some <laughs> memes involved there, right? Like no doubt. some random no doubt. proxy void ray, some, no, mm -hmm. some random adepts one. maybe. E Prism disruptor shit. Yeah. Yeah, like what, what, I really want to know what, what actually happened there. But uh I mm. feel like I feel like TY's PVT or TVP recently has been kind of not great, at least from what yeah. I've seen. Like ever ever since the ever since the GSL season three versus stats where he three owed him there, that was the last time that I saw TY's TVP look like God tier. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then he's been on a kind of a downward trend, I felt. So Yeah. Slightly not surprised, but also a little bit by that. Mm -hmm. And uh you know, obviously, uh, Juan, you eliminated uh, Rogue, so that kind of like, you know, wraps yeah. up the the players that are that are missing. Mm -hmm. I would say. Um. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, the bracket here. Trap versus Dark. What are we thinking on this, folks? That's a crazy match for round one, no? Mm -hmm. The yeah. whole bracket is actually kind of amazing matches. Like when I saw the bracket, yeah. I was like, oh, these are actually the right matches. To give us a super interesting set of games, at least on the first day. Yeah, the first yeah. day are the first four matches, just to clarify. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the first the first round, the entire round oh, is boy. actually 
like really, really cool matches. The actually the only match I'm not super excited about is Stats Bunny, although Bunny's been playing well recently, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh yeah. but yeah, Trap Dark. Dark seems to be coming back into a little bit of his shape. What do you guys think? Yeah. I think they're both pretty evenly matched, to be honest. But I don't know too much about PvC. And I know Trap mm-hmm. is very good at PvC. He used Beat Zero, right? In the mm-hmm. Green had last chance. Like he won the tournament. Yeah. And he won the last edition of the super tournament in the PvP against stats. But I think mm-hmm. it's gonna be a hard match for both. It's gonna be three two for some for I don't know for who, but I think it's gonna be the score. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Jim? I think, it, I think it's gonna be three one for Trap. Uh I uh, actually like Trap and like Dark has been doing pretty well recently, but mm-hmm. Trap is uh, Trap's on a five uh, five series win streak versus him, going back to like October, and with like a thirteen and four win rate in total in total maps. So uh, Trap's been kind of uh, he's been beating up Dark pretty good lately, and his his last you know super tournament win, then he wins Dreamhack against Serral and stuff, and it's mm. and I'm like you know you know what. Pretty sure Trap's gonna keep t- taking this pretty seriously. He wants to win another tournament, so uh, yeah, I, I think I think Trap can can do it, and I would not be surprised to see a three one. It could be a three two. It could be a three zero. He could get three would if Dark just wants to be Mister Monster Mode guy again. But uh, yeah, I'm, that would I'm be that right. would be the least likely thing. Yeah, I, think, is trap I would agree. Yes, here. I think so. I, I, I like I like thing is that the series, no matter what score he goes, even if he goes at three zero, I think the games will be close. I just feel that mm, way yeah. for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I th- yeah, I think a three-one scoreline is is pretty is what I'm what I'm expecting. But I think it uh, some of those games will definitely make it seem like it wasn't a three-one, uh, depending on you know how 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 well Dark is actually showing up because mm-hmm. Dark had that one good TSL run, but then we haven't seen much other than that. So it's like, was that a one-off or is he actually back in shape? I don't know. Well, if we yeah. go by MMR, stay about the same on Korea server. They bought like six nine because I play both of them mm-hmm. the every day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's just, just ladder. MMR doesn't count in tournament. Yeah, but I, yeah. But I think it's gonna be close regardless. Mm-hmm. All right, I, I think will. We're all... I will also say yeah. actually that uh, Trap was doing. His, he was streaming on a freaker the other day, and he did a bracket preview. Like he did, he did his predictions, and he predicted himself to win. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are curious about you know general mindset and mentality and confidence level we would That's consider good. trap to be at an all-time high right now which is voting well for his actual results i think <laughs> <laughs> awesome uh <laughs> uh if you don't if you don't vote for yourself to win when you've won the last two tournaments it's like what are you yeah like yeah. Is, how much how much fake humility can we really truly stand <laughs> you know i can only listen to maru say he played at 40 percent of his skill so many times before i want to <laughs> fall down a well you know we can only watch innovation dumpster every protoss 3-0 and then continue <laughs> yeah. to say protoss is the worst or the most imbalanced race how yeah. many times are we gonna hear that exactly exactly all right, let's go on to uh, innovation versus solar. I feel like um, I can't even, I can't watch a tournament. I can't look at a bracket. I can't do anything without seeing Solar's name pop up. That's right. He plays about like, everything. He, he plays. Korean. He's Korean Bly right now. Like his yeah. name is just plastered into every tournament. But what, what do you guys think of Innovation Solar here? What's that matchup looking like for you? Honestly. Like innovation is great and solar is great. I think, as I say, as same as the first one, it's gonna be a close matchup. But I honestly, I'm mostly going with solar. I feel yeah. like when he plays well, he's able to beat people like Maru even in GSL. Mm-hmm. But when he plays bad, he's even able to lose to people like me. So we will see. I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be close. But I think, I really think solar will win because I feel like his style matches well against innovation for some reason. I think I think Solar's kind of feeling a nice little hot streak right now. He's been doing some pretty, gotten some pretty good results. Uh, he did pretty well in DreamHack. He's been crushing a lot of the online tournaments. I feel like he's kind of feeling that vibe right now. Uh, for I don't know for whatever reason, I just feel like he's better than Innovation at this current moment. Mm-hmm. I don't have much to 
go off. I just it's just a feeling thing. So I, I'm feeling solar for this. Like I don't, but again, I don't have like a big. The, the, the thing with innovation is that yeah, the thing with innovation is he doesn't play much tournaments, right? That's mm, the thing. Yeah, so it's really yeah, it's really always hard to know exactly where he's at, other than if you see him playing versus people on streams or whatever on ladder. Yeah, he's pretty good. I mean, he's always I good. Mean, he's never. It's Inno, yeah. <laughs> Inno is always pretty good, right? Yeah. Are you hitting him a lot on the ladder? Do you know how active he is? You know? Yeah. No, actually, no. I mean, I mean, he. I'm I'm low in the ladder right now, man. I'm not high. I need to get some points to hit him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I think he, I think he changed to a barcode because I haven't played his main account. He used to play on his main account, but I think mm -hmm. now he uses a barcode. Oh, okay. I just maybe saw him on his main account commission. the other day, actually. Mm -hmm. But oh, really? Then I have maybe, maybe he does He probably yeah. does both. I think. Yeah, you gotta rotate it a little bit. Otherwise, yeah. people will figure you out. Yeah, just the amount I see solar playing and everything right now and the, the really reasonable results out of him, it feels like he's yeah. hungry at the moment. So I kind of I kind of lean towards him. I don't mind the matchup, Solar versus Innovation. You know, Innovation brings like so much power behind his name. But honestly, like the way Solar plays, I kind of agree with you on that. I feel like I feel it's a fine matchup for Solar overall. Yeah, well, you know, Solar got, uh, no, sir. Uh, uh, Solar got married, you know, so he has another mouth to feed. You know about that. So he has to play he got married. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? No, where was that news? He made a tweet about it. Like it was like shit, three months it was ago. like maybe like I, November or yeah, yeah, really yeah. something like that. September. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Has another mouth to feed, so you know has to has to win some stuff. Damn. Yeah. No. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, to be honest, that, that I just kept having kids, and I still can't hold S rank. So it's I I don't think it actually works. <laughs> um. <laughs> or, yeah, for, so for example, he got. Take on place in the Chisa FA, even though he lost against Beyond. Mm -hmm. Like, he, I watched those games and he just played bad, but I feel he played bad because he was so late already. It was like maybe like nine in the morning or something like that. Mm. He normally doesn't play like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, so I, I feel like we're all leaning towards Solar a little bit here. I am. I think he's going to win 3 2. 3 2? Hmm. So let's yeah, say then. 3 2. Okay, if we if we end up with trap versus solar, because everyone kind of it feels like everyone's on the same page that it's like good matches both, but trap and solar advance. What does a trap solar thing look like actually? Solar win for me. I actually I I, I kind of agree with you. I think that I would be more afraid as trap of solar than dark right now. Yeah, I think so. Too. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think Solar is b definitely better in general than Dark at the moment, especially his EVP. And him and Trap have been playing an insane amount lately. They mm -hmm. they match each other in almost like every online cup, like Oli Molig's ESL cups and stuff like that. They're playing each other a whole bunch, and they they trade series quite often. Actually, sometimes mm -hmm. Solar will just you know show up and he'll just bop a three zero, and then a lot of other times, then Trap just bops it, or they do a lot of three twos back and forth. Uh, the 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 super tournament uh match they had was a three two the dream hack last chance match was a three two so this is going to be a three two again <laughs> i think <laughs> if they do it um and i don't know i feel i feel like i feel like you know recently in the super recents trap has had just the slight mental advantage over him like solar has gotten himself in pretty good spots and he's kind of blown it both times uh, especially the DreamHack one being up 2-0 and then and blowing it. So um, he might be maybe hitting a bit of a mental wall versus Trap style right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm me, so I will always say, yes, 3-2 Trap. All right. <laughs> Fair mm -hmm. enough. No, I mean, but right. yeah, it's, 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 I mean, even if I think sort of cool, we, we still don't know if that match is going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think it's going to be close regardless of you know, yeah, it just it just kind of struck me that I would feel more confident in Solar beating Trap than Dark, so I wanted to throw that your guys' yeah. way, see if you felt similarly. The thing also about well, the thing, uh, but I, for example, if I were to play, uh, just my opinion, if I were to play in a big tournament, I would rather play Solar than Dark. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I kind of get your get your feeling my like. Opinion. Some people bring it out when the when stuff's really on the line, whereas yeah. like cups they don't do as well, you know. So like if they, if they start, let's change this is Katowice for example. 
And mm -hmm. I'm prop. I, I would rather play solar than play dark. It's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah, that's fair enough. And then one other small point is that Trap also predicted Solar to go advanced, so then he predicted himself going over Solar, so that's also <laughs> swayed my decision. It, it, it if, was if his Trap final prediction that he someone, wins. I agree. <laughs> Probably Fantastic. agree uh, no matter what. Like, hey, Did he predict himself to win the whole tournament? Yeah, yeah. Right on. I like more. it. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, let's uh let's jump down to SOS versus Bion. I'm now, excited for one boys. Yeah, me one's... too. It's a rematch of a GSL finals. SOS has not been in that great of shape for the last few years. And Bion is fucking killing it. He is killing it right now. What do you guys think? I don't know. Okay, so I play SOS in the qualifier. I got yeah. shot on. I was <laughs> not even close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then I play him practice games. Mm -hmm. I win sometimes, but I lose him, lose, mostly lose. And then I watch him play a little bit. I think he's very good right now, man. Yeah. I remember when, like, the thing about this guy is that when is the big tournament is coming up, he does very well. Like, last yeah. year, Super Tournament, he won, man. And then yeah. BlizzCon, he did, when was it BlizzCon? No, no. I am BlizzCon, and he, he didn't do that bad, I think. I said that well, he, I he that always knocked Mario out. He yeah, peaks so. at the end of the year every year. That's what I'm saying. And this, this is, is the this the is year. the new end of the year. Yeah, like the big money tournaments. Like if there's one time you expect SOS to do well, it's leading up to Katowice right now. Yeah. Like this is going to be the tournament that he's aiming for. This is like the one that'll actually get him going. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't know, man. Isn't he plays very tricky against Turn? Mm -hmm. And that's very hard to and be honest, very micro intensive and straightforward a little bit in a way. Mm -hmm. By straightforward, I mean like he doesn't change his plan too much anymore. Like he no. tries to play like one style, style mm -hmm. or one general style. But I think it doesn't match that bad against SOS, his style. So I could see Beyond winning, but I, I feel SOS will win. You okay. think. Yeah. Well, I was just kind of, what, what do you think, Gemini? And then I'll say what I was yeah. going to say. I, I'm just feeling Bion just because of just general, like how solid he's looked recently. Um, I feel like his peak right now is better than what we've seen of SOS. But again, I have not seen SOS's practice games like Mr. Hornito over here. So I can't know exactly how well he's doing, but it really just kind of feels like SOS whenever he's trying to show up recently. It's just... Like he's do, he's really trying to just do that super cool half court dunk shot, and then he just falls flat on his face. While he's trying, you know? like, that's what it feels like every time the last couple of tournaments. And like you know, it, it's supposed to be he turns up at the end of the year. He turns up at the end of the year. He hasn't turned up at the end of the year yet. Like yes, this is a new, it is a new end of the year timing. But this tournament doesn't give super mm -hmm. uh, give EBT points like we were saying. So it's like yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I just just based off of feel. It just feels like beyond for me again, just because of you know my 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 heart is telling right. me that. But what did Trap predict? Beyond. <laughs> okay. Well, I think Trap got that one wrong, man. Because like Beyond's yeah, been killing uh, it, and Beyond is really good right now. But like SOS has to be practicing really hard at the moment, is, and is, 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 is. especially for his first match, like the next round that he has to play two days later. Eh, I don't know, man. But like, he'll have shit prepared for Beyond. He'll look at Beyond's games and be like, "Oh, I have just the build for this," <laughs> you yeah. know. And, and yeah, I'm I'm feeling SOS there, even though there's really no reason to, other than <laughs> he always shows up for big money. Yeah, I, it would be cool to see him bring out some more some more meme strats. I want to see the fucking proxy Nexus dark hide a probe into Dark Shrine <laughs> shit again. That was just legendary, dude. <laughs> Bring it out. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about DRG versus Dream? Oh, I feel Dream will win this one. Really? The, yeah. Really? DRG. Yeah, yeah. DRG has shown the strongest macro ZVTs if you take out Widowmine drops. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen worse Dream's gonna Widowmine, Widowmine drop. drop. Three games in a row. Dude, like, I have never seen. Widowmine drop defense as poor as DRG's. 
And I played rank roulette on Hersom's show where I watched <laughs> like Z rank players. So like this is saying something that DRG has the worst mind drop defense I've ever seen. But his CVT is so monstrous when he gets going. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so take but it back. Tell me DRG's going to win. Lately, he's been losing a lot, man. I don't know. Eh. That's what I was going to say. Know. I'm trying to search up his thing on Legal Lag. It feels like DRG's been kind of on a bit of a downward trend. For is me. it, right? Um, I'm, I'm trying to find it all up. I'm pretty sure I've seen it lose a lot. Uh, to be fair, it's, it's hard to keep motivating when you're teamless, you know. That's something that I feel people mm. don't realize. Yeah. He's been he's been teamless for like a little bit. So yeah, that's rough. That's, like he lost five two to time in a show match. I mean it's a show match, but still. Yeah. Five two to five to time, one two to Kira, one beyond, two oh random guy, two oh masa, oh two time, oh two beyond, two one to dream in Cheese I mean, Alpha qualifier a month ago. He could win mm -hmm. yeah. But then oh one two to Bunny, one two to Inno, one three to Beyond, O two to Cure. With not many other wins in between. Could go either way. I could still see it. Yeah, um, I mean, he could win. He also plays, I feel he's one of the players that plays better in, in LAN than online. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. And I feel like Dream is the is the opposite, right? I feel yeah, like Dream has yeah. kind of underperformed at LAN. So, uh, mm. yeah, I, I definitely, for that reason, a lot, I could see DRG still winning this. I think it's, I think this is pretty even, honestly. Like this is, I feel like this is a fairly yeah. even uh, match. Like a, a lot of, like a lot of these matches feel like really, really even. Like they're mm -hmm. some of like the best, the, the most evenly skilled yeah. matches we can get between a lot of the the players. I feel there's not there's only a couple that are maybe a little more, more skewed, but yeah, I, I would say this one's kind of tough to predict. Honestly, um, I don't know. I I, I kind of want Dream to win just because I like Dream, but. Um, you know, I think Zerg's winning more is probably a good idea for you know for for balance winning and stuff like that. So why not? What do you mean they always win? <laughs> what are we talking? About? <laughs> Zerg's winning more is a good idea. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta, you gotta keep the you gotta keep the narrative going, man. It's it's yeah. been a little bit it's been a little bit lackluster. We haven't been seeing so many CVZ finals. I know. I, I need some more Zerg. But I need some more for the agenda, man. You know. Mm. Totally. <laughs> okay. So everyone's kind of split on this one. Especially if you're think thinking Dream, Dream Gemini, you're kind of back and forth a little bit. Yeah, I don't really. I think I think it'll be a three-two either way. I don't really know who to say. I'll just say Dream. I don't know. I, I think DRG is going to three-zero him, guys. He's going to three-zero him. It's going to be fucking Hulk smashes. It's going to be crazy. You guys don't even know. And then he's going to beat SOS the next round because SOS All can't right. PVZ to save his fucking life. And then he's going to get true. cleaned up against whoever comes out of that other side. <laughs> that's DRG's gonna go 0 and 3 in the semifinals. That's my that's my prediction. It doesn't matter who comes up against him. <laughs> All right. You'd love to see it. You love to see it. Yep. Uh Jillen versus Armani. Chow, are we actually chow. calling him Joan now, or are we just they the, the fucking team tweeted yeah, at me, basically. Is, well, um, it was it yeah. was a subtweet. They're like, oh, for those concerned, <laughs> here's how you pronounce it. Joan. I'm like okay, okay. Um, so Joe Un versus Armani. What do you, what are you guys thinking on that? I this is what's so beautiful about the bracket. I'm like, oh yeah, those are like if I had to choose opponents for each of them to make sure we had a nice match, th those are the two, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Chown. You think who? Sound win. Chown. Chown. Whatever you want to Joan. call. Joan. 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 Huh. Joan. Uh. I I think Armani, but I think Zounds don't fuck Joan <laughs> can still easily do it too, uh, because it's like he, he's super tricky, right? And when he when he has these kind of uh, he he has this time to prepare. It seems like he's been able to to bring out some pretty good preparation builds. Um, Trap also predicted Armani to win, so that's slight bias there. Uh, I go with people that are smart, but they're um, teammates, man. Teammates, think about it. Mm -hmm. That wait, yeah, that's true as well. But still, what did he say about DRG Dream? What did he say about DRG Dream? Uh, I forget because it wasn't a Protoss, so I wasn't paying attention. I think he said. <laughs> I mean, I can go. You're find such a one-dimensional Starcraft fan, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it's true. It's true. It's no secret. Uh, the yeah, I can go back and find it, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like Armani. If if stuff can get kind of standardized a little bit, like it kind of levels out, I feel like I can maybe favor him in like the kind of longer Lurker Viper style games. Mm. But I mean, yeah. I haven't really seen much of Jones. I, it's, I can't take it seriously. Zounds, uh two Stargate play and stuff like that, like the the more modern PVZ style, because you know everyone's doing that now. It's it's basically the standard. Um, so I haven't really seen him do that lately. So I can't really know how well he plays that mid game late game. But, you know, recently, whenever he has been winning and he has won against Armani and GSL before, he's brought out a couple tricky stuff, some like pre lurker viper timing, stuff like that. So I don't know. I feel like it's going to be up to Armani to kind of weather the weird storm of whatever he brings. And then mm -hmm. if he can level it out late game, then I feel like it can maybe favor Armani. Mm hmm. Feels like, though, Joan always brings like um, really prepped builds. And like mm -hmm. really like brings his nice level of execution to it. So I'm kind of leaning towards him. You got to remember it's super tournament. This is like where Protoss is dominate anyways. And like, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling him. Hmm? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's going to get disgusting. disgusting. Day, man. I'm predicting all Protosses as we go forward from here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got this is the agenda we need to get uh, <laughs> here, Artosis. Let, let's let's have you chill out a little bit, you know. Like, come on, we, we can't have we can't be getting nerfed like this. Come on. Yeah, well I mean <laughs> getting nerfed. I'm not too worried about that, bro. Are we even getting new maps? Like what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> yeah, true. We're gonna bring yeah, true. We're gonna bring that up. Let's what's talk about the yeah. elephant in the room. Where's the new maps? <laughs> Where's the new maps, man? What's going on with this? We're just gonna play the same maps forever. Let's just Submarine bring back Dream Pool. Until the end of yeah. time. <laughs> That's what I want. I want a map that only TVTs occur on. That's fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, let's go to let's go to Cure Parting. How is how is Cure doing right now? I haven't seen Very his good. game in He's a bit. Fucking good, dude. Yeah, He's so good at this game. Yeah, so good. At this game. Well, yeah. I what think he's really. What, good what do you know about him? What's his TVP like? I well, I you know I'm like I have to play against Zest, right? And yeah. then I see he play against Zest, so like yo, Mister Cure, showed me those replays. So he sent me all the replays. Oh, nice. So he lost four three against Zest, but he generally likes to play like a longer macro game, you know, mm -hmm. either that or a super all in. That's what he likes mm -hmm. to play. Like mm -hmm. from what I watch that those games. But he's pretty good. What he does, very clean, Dif little bit different builds, you know. So it's a little harder for Protoss to know how to play. The thing mm -hmm. about Protoss now is that Protoss, they can do one build and they just go with it. They don't give a shit, you know. It's like I got you, man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open Twilight, and I'm gonna go three Nexus, or I'm gonna go four Gate or DT, <laughs> and you don't know, man. And I'm gonna kill you. There has there's a million ways to kill you. You're gonna make a million units, or I kill you with Blink Stalkers. You Either way, you're gonna die. Right now, man. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is what fucking Terran versus Protoss is in both games, man. It's 100 yeah. percent crazy. <laughs> it's and you and you're know. on the opposite side of each matchup <laughs> on each game. Yeah. <laughs> I was it's smart. So Unlike Juan, I did not keep on going Terran in StarCraft 2. That would have been a stupid move. Um sorry. Yeah. So you got are, wait, wait. Are we saying cure or parting here? Cure. I think parting would win. Oh, okay. After after you talk about how great cure is, you're like, yeah, no, parting's got it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> party, party, I, I, party I from the NA server, he can't lose, man. The NA mm -hmm. practice. NA server practice, you can never lose. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. NA is the he, unlocked potential. That is true. Dude, he beat Maru practicing on the NA server. You guys forget that. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That is, that's the nuke game. Or that's the nuke series, right? <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Wait, what? Oh yeah, 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 that is. When he when he nuked himself. Yeah. Uh, but awesome. I don't know. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling cured just for the solidity, right? Like parting is super volatile right now. I feel. Yeah. Um, he he like you see he's not like well I don't, I don't know what he's doing off stream but on stream he's not playing as much Starcraft like you know he's been playing a whole bunch of Tekken and League mm. all over the place. Uh, Jump kink. Jump King, yeah. <laughs> um, so 
I, I don't know. It feels like parting super volatile right now. Sometimes he'll show up massively, and then other times he will just, you know, similar to SOS doing the half court dunk and falling on his face. But um, <laughs> Cure has kind of felt pretty like a solid rock for a while. Uh, his TVPs recently have been really, really strong uh, in some of the online cups I've been seeing him play. Um, so I, don't, I, I just, I just feel like Cure's ability to, to like draw out like a solid longer game is, mm. is better. And like, he can kind of weather some of Parting's tricks. Um, he, he feels like, I mean, maybe bringing up Maru is not a good option since we just talked about how Mar Parting 3 0 him last time, but I feel like Maru, when he was playing really well in PVT, he was doing a really good job of just kind of sitting and bunkering down on three, four bases for like a while mm -hmm. and just never dying. And then winning later on in the game i feel like cure kind of is also pretty good at that so yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. and i feel like that's a generally good style against parting mm -hmm. my, well, yeah. you know so i feel I, I just kind of that's what i'm kind of feeling with with cure here I, I look at this as a pretty hard match for parting if he's still in his kind of volatile state yeah that sounds like good analysis to me like it feels more like um this match is decided by parting in his preparation more than cure yeah, I, would I say. feel like here is here doesn't go very far outside of like, you know, his range of TVP power, where his parting like spikes way up to like completely unkillable and then like also falls down to, yeah. you know, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I just I don't actually have a prediction for that one because I really do think it's like, well, I don't know what parting is doing right now. And I feel like that more than all the other matches, it feels like that, right? Okay, SOS is okay. a little bit similar to these Protosses that are up and down. It's like, okay, how much are you actually prepping? As, well, SOS was just playing with Cure five minutes ago. <laughs> so. hot, hot update right off the press. God damn. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Damn. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I that's that's kind of funny, too, because I'm like, I, I would almost not want to practice against SOS for a series. I right because like no one plays quite like him because like well, parting's gonna like four gate blink you but sos is warping a fucking dt into your base it's yeah. like uh <laughs> the thing like I was two minutes in the game <laughs> no the thing i was right is when he's very helpful in the way that when you practice with him let's say i, cause I play with him a lot he's one of my the ones that i like to practice the most with because mm -hmm. he gives you real advice and if he tries to play the style of, the, of your opponents you know what i mean Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's he, really that's good. Then that's, yeah. that is cool. Yeah, we have the clowns that you play with them, and they just play their own style, and you tell them what the fuck are you doing, man? I don't need to play against this. It's useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels like the opposite would be true. Like if any, if anyone would be doing the clown builds in practice, still, it'd feel like it'd be SOS. No, no, <laughs> I, mean, no, no. I guess it's pretty. Kind. That's, that's pretty kind. does that. All right, I, I uh, will say it's a three-one for part or for cure. I'll, I'll put that up. Three-one for cure. Okay. Okay. All right. What about um? Bunny versus stats. Now, obviously, Bunny did well in the last chance, like won his group and everything. But I just I can't see Bunny beating stats. There's just something I think I have this like held over. I've watched too many disappointing Bunny games because I'm the <laughs> GSL caster. Right. And he's like done well in GSL like once. So it's like I just I feel like and stats has been looking good, you know, He's his PBT overall looks really strong. I feel like this is like a three over stats. I wouldn't say three over, but I would say three one. And not that and Bunny's very good right now. I think. Like he's yeah, he, he did well in the last chance. Like that's really impressive. That's a hard group that he won and everything. But like against well, stats, that, the way he plays is his clowny style is is working now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> It's like he got better at that, so but I don't know. I feel he's much better than before. Okay. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, I, I'm feeling I'm vibing with the the three zero for stats. I feel like, uh, I mean, Bunny can definitely pull out some good stuff, and like you know, like you said, his clown style has been has been pretty good recently. Uh, the the last chance tournament, he didn't play a single Protoss. That was all TVT and TVZ, and stylistically stats is like the polar opposite of what bunny is right bunny is the yolo mass doom dropper crazy <laughs> build do everything to try and just make the game as chaotic as possible and stats is literally just like 
he's like a vacuum cleaner just just like zoops up everything that they get try to thrown at you and he just you know swats it away so uh, I'm, I'm feeling like stats being in the pretty good form that he's in right now mm-hmm. will kind of just be able to you know bop bunny on the head and just be like huh, go back in your little <laughs> eat your carrots very funny yeah. congratulations on your tvt and tvz's recently but <laughs> i am i am a, i am a good tvp player <laughs> yeah. know, that's that's just kind of what i'm feeling but i would love i love bunny as well i think his you know his clown style is fun i, I call it clown just because it's just funny but uh his, his super aggressive style is really fun to, to watch and it is always fun to see the slightly lesser successful terran players do well so mm. If he can, if he can totally upset, that'd be awesome. I'm totally for that. He could win, but I don't, I don't see it. But he could. He I, I, yeah, I, would, I just don't. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I would. Yeah. No. Him winning the series, I don't think that that could happen. I don't think that's possible. But yeah, I think I hear like a map. Yeah. Twenty percent chance of that happening. Really? I I wouldn't put yeah. it below that. Honestly, I'm like, <laughs> it's hard for me to imagine. It's just I don't know. Stats. Artosis well biggest bunny roster. hater confirmed. Reddit. I love well, Bunny. Bunny is actually one of the coolest pro gamers, in my opinion. He's a really nice guy and everything. That's what Roddy always just, does, too. Yeah. These maps, no, he's, they all he's cool. for us, man. Um, well, get used to him, Juan, because as far as I know, <laughs> there's nothing new coming down the pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to make it so no one can ban break. Submarine anymore. A small indie game company, man. Come on, calm down. <laughs> all right. Uh, our last match... And the most important match the most, of the exactly. whole Super Tournament. Zest versus Special! How are you feeling about it, Juan? Uh, honestly, I said on my stream earlier, uh, I think either I'm going to win 3-1 or lose 3-1. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. I, use, I don't know, I just feel it that way. Uh, but last time we played a show match, I won 5-3. Mm-hmm. I don't take those too seriously into consideration. Con- like it's not the same tournament it's not the same yeah the prestige is not there do you know what i mean mm-hmm. like winning those kind of online show matches stuff like that's just not the same thing but i think i think i can win um uh, but it's not gonna be easy obviously he's been playing mm-hmm. very well lately he's been winning almost every pvt especially well he was lost against me on 2-0 right but i watched that it was if almost feel like he was sandbagging you know mm, sandbagging. yeah <laughs> Okay. The classic strat. The classic sandbag, the M Canyon strat, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> But I uh, I think I can pull it off, but we'll see, we'll see. I, it's been a long time since I played in, in there, man, in the studio. It's gonna be great, regardless of what happens. I just wanna go there and enjoy and have fun and play try my play my best. Mm. That, oh, that's my what I want. I can't wait for that. It's been months since I've yeah. I've seen humans other than tasteless and my wife. Um, <laughs> uh, what what are you thinking about this one, Gemini? Well, uh, here can we can we can we deafen special here for a second? Uh, okay, three Uh Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I I feel like you know, looking at Zest Reese and PVT, he's pretty damn good. Uh, mm. P- PVT is you know. Something that's special may may or may not complain about every now and then. <laughs> so uh, maybe that'll that'll be a bit of a struggle struggle bus. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll go with Zest. But I, in my heart, would love to see Mister Juanito pull it through, get the the foreigners some more hope farther into the bracket. But uh, Thank yeah, you, I don't know. Wait, you're de- mm. You're not deaf and shit. Oh, okay. So mm. no, no, special three O, special three O. That's what. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> not even no. I feel like uh, stylistically, you don't match up super well against Zest. I've always yeah. felt you match up better against someone like Stats stylistically, even if Stats is like a better player or something. Um, but I want you to win. Me too, man. I want you to win. Me too. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's all that matters, right? Yeah, no. Well, I think it, it. I mean, if you prep well, if you, I, I saw you on stream going over some of the stuff with Scarlet, and uh, you know, you're watching all the replays and and watching yeah. all the vods. So I think you'll come up with something pretty good. Because Zest will like get an idea in his head. He's like, "This is the build," and then he'll do that a lot. <laughs> so I could see you you catching him with with good preparation. That's right. 
We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him, boys. Yeah, we'll get a pog champ in chat for special everyone channel. Pog champ Dorito mm-hmm. champ. <laughs> Spam the Dorito for this one, Nito. Um Yo, this pog champ, so. Yeah, I will try. I will try. I will try. I will not die for free. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> Good. Uh one more quick prediction uh for the bracket. Well, I have a question what? before. Oh, go ahead. What what did Trap predict, Mr. Gemini? I forgot about this. For you and for you and Zest? No. <laughs> this was actually so funny. He was looking at the brackets, right? And he's like giving his 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 explanation for each match. Uh-huh. He's like, yeah, like I think this person person will win. He's telling some reasons going down the list. And then he gets to Zest special and he just goes, Zest, and then just immediately moves fast and, and goes to the other match again. Damn. <laughs> he didn't even give an explanation. So uh what up, each man. Yeah, uh, sounds like Trap doesn't believe in you, man. Seems it's okay. Like Last it. time we played, he lost. Fucking sucks. <laughs> that was like, what, five months ago? <clears throat> doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some mech memes, I remember. Some BC memes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very yeah, he wasn't mm-hmm. happy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's start talking to mm-hmm. Meg with stalkers. I'm so smart. <laughs> 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 On Pillars of Gold, you're like spamming, t- spamming whatever the hell it was. I don't know. You had, you had like a turret ring and everything. He's like trying his hardest to get like hallucinated phoenixes in there and he's you're just sitting there going mech and bcs i'm like okay dude. <laughs> oh, i'm gonna make 20 stocks and blinky to seven tanks that sounds good <laughs> it was so dumb like he he like that's that's the bad thing about trap is like he will he will think that he has like something figured out so much you're like oh i oh i know exactly what you're doing oh i know exactly i can just kill you right now and then it's so like he has the one tiny piece of misinformation and then he's blinking into 20 tanks <laughs> with <laughs> a bunch of stalkers. It's okay. Fucking he, guy, he did well. He won tournaments, I didn't, so he's better than me, obviously. So he has the right to say whatever he wants. <clears throat> well. True. Oof. Okay. Uh, what is what is our prediction? What do you guys think the final is and who wins it? Uh... Okay, so obviously it's gonna be me via strap and I will win. No, that would be I... amazing. <laughs> that, that would be a crazy fucking. Party. That would be the best yeah. fucking thing that ever happened. I would, I would forget who Sarah was if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Then it, when it happens, when it happens, I tell, I remember what you say on your stream. <laughs> yeah. You should have said that. I wasn't even gonna show up. <laughs> no, but I think. Call me crazy, but I think SOS makes it to the final. SOS? Yes. And from the other side? Yes, I think so. No go, no go. From the other side, for some reason, I'm feeling parting. Parting. Damn, you're crazy. Parting at the finals. I mean, that would be very entertaining, no doubt. Like the it's amount of base, base trades that we'll see in that finals will be amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, I, I'm just feeling SOS. I think it's SOS or Trap. One of those two players will get to the final. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think, Gemini? Yeah, I, I will agree in Trap's analysis himself. <laughs> uh, I, I think, he, yeah, I think he's going to the finals. Um, I personally, I, I think. I kind of agree with what a legal act did. I feel like it's going to be a trap stats re- rematch, honestly. Oh, okay. I think, but yeah. trap p- trap predicted that Cure would get to the to the final, and then he would beat Cure in the finals. That's that's what his prediction was, um, and I can kind of see that. You know, if he mm. if he kills Parting, I could see it. I, if he kills Parting, I think Zown or, or Armani are both kind of washes for him, right? I think like he can easily kind of bop through that, mm-hmm. and then. I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I could see it. And then at the bottom, you know, he I, he predicted, I think, stats and zest coming out. And then he predicted s- stats coming out, I think, or, z- or zest. I, either way, he's, he, he thinks that Cure's TVP is pretty good right now, mm-hmm. but he just thinks he's better, I guess, <laughs> than their TVPs. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I could I could see Cure going through or I could see and I feel. And and then I would feel like stats would be the only other big one that comes out. I, I I honestly expect to see a trap stats rematch in the finals, but I would also would not be surprised at a trap cure. 
Okay. Uh, if Trap well, doesn't so make it out, if Trap doesn't make it out, I feel like a Solar Finals could be what's happening from that upper bracket. Oh. Mm. I was actually going to say I think Stats uh, Solar could be a. That's I'm I'm for some reason I'm just kind of feeling that I don't know I think I just I, Solar is brainwashing me with how many times I read the results of him in tournaments <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> I'm just like well of course he's going to make it to the finals like it's Solar. Um, yeah, well, I'm kind of feeling. I think Stats is going to take this tournament down. I haven't seen anything of him, man, but I know he's playing on a barcode. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. I think Stats. Oh, this I'm is the sure. this is the time of Stats right now. Remember when Trap was just Stats light? Yeah, we got to get back to that. We got to get no, back to that. <laughs> Cobra, or we turn we Stats into Trap heavy. <laughs> trap heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. All right, will, well, that's I, yeah. I will say, can I bring in one more cool thing? Because I yeah. thought this was actually yeah. pretty interesting. Uh, you know, trap my own trap bias aside. Uh, if trap wins, if he does actually win super tournament, that's three premier tournaments in a row that he will have won within uh seven weeks. And I and yeah, I, I looked at it and I was like, that's actually pretty cool. Like, that's a really short amount of time for three tournament yeah. wins. And so mm -hmm. I looked up to see if there anyone had ever done anything like that before. And I found... Here, let me find it. Probably Rogue. His run of four wins was insane. But maybe not in this uh, short time span. Yeah, it was not actually in a short enough time span. The only two that have done better is Rainer. At the at five weeks and three days, he did... Uh, he won Doyu Cup, DreamHack Fall EU, and then DreamHack Fall Season Finals all back to back last mm -hmm. year at the towards the end of last year then tasia has six weeks for, for three in 2014 with uh home story cup nine dreamhack summer and i am shenzhen and then if trap wins super tournament then he will be at seven weeks with these last three that he's won Damn. Uh, and then the, and then the fourth person was tasia again at nine weeks <laughs> with back in 2012 <laughs> with mlg summer aces rog dreamhack valencia so what about rogue yeah, but let's just count the big ones. Rogue Rogues, one. yeah, Rogues was more mm. impressive than all of those, or, and or also Tasia's like. don't count because those tournaments, like, <laughs> they don't. It doesn't count. Everyone knows that doesn't count. Uh, what about the white one? I would rather be the white winning WSG than winning Katowice. Kidding me? No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's, well, that's two, though. I'm I'm just looking at the like three in a row. I, I was just curious at what three in a row uh, were. Okay, okay, of, of all the three of all the uh, people that have won three in a row. These are the shortest. I just thought that was an mm -hmm. interesting statistic. Yeah, the, the, yeah, but the thing is, no one has control over them in a row. Like, I mean, this is super impressive by Trap, and it's like really strong tournaments. But still, for me, the the rogue run of you have to win Super Tournament and I am Shanghai to get to BlizzCon, which you then win, and then you win Katowice. I was like, oh my god! Well, there you go. That's like, yeah, that, that actually, was I think there was yeah. technically a GSL in between, maybe that he didn't win, but like. Close enough. No, 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 no. There was not. But yeah, I yeah. Know. And I, I'm not saying it's like the most impressive like run or anything. Like it, there's obviously more impressive runs. I'm just saying it was kind of cool. Like I just thought it was a cool statistic uh, to see yeah. how how quickly people actually win three tournaments in a row <laughs> because mm. it's it's happened so rarely. Like the, there's actually happened like there, there's only a couple others than this of people that have won three in a row. But I just thought it was a neat. Relax. He hasn't won the three. He hasn't won three. He's not gonna win three because I'm gonna be there in the final. You know. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so that that is the super tournament bracket preview show. Uh, we actually only have like three Patreon questions because this is on a weird random day. So I think we'll just jump into those real quick. Uh, did you need to go on? Well, I can do one or two. I have to okay. go in. But we have three. Can you do three? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> you're doing me a big one here bro thank you yeah man. dude thank you for doing all three and not leaving in between the, the <laughs> second and third questions that that's all we have to do the quickest pile on show of all time by the way uh okay so guys check out patreon.com forward slash the pile on show uh yeah and so anyways thanks for the people who dropped the questions in here this week i know it's a weird day and time so that's why we don't have any this time but uh next quick week, everyone guys, go submit a whole bunch of them okay we can hold special here forever <laughs> uh kilo kilo asks did you know if you slapped a chicken 23,000 times, it would be fully cooked? Which one of you would be the best chicken slapper? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. If you could slap a chicken 23,000 times, it'll be fully cooked. Does that mean your hand would be fully cooked as well? Like, you'd have some serious... Your hand would be fucked. I guess, man. So I don't know what... stupid. Wow. Gemini would be the best sla chicken slapper, though. Yeah. 100%. Gemini is... Gemini is best. I just... This, this question just came out of nowhere, dude. It, I was not... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great stat. It's a great... I'm going to surprise Tasteless with that stat tomorrow. He's not going to know what hit him. <laughs> You're tasteless. I am. Do you know if I sla if you slap a chicken twenty three thousand times, it will be fully cooked. Cooked. You knew that. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, this is. A, I'll I'll nail him with that man, and I'm be like, you know, the problem was my mom always slapped the chicken twenty four thousand times and it was burned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kilo Kilo. Thanks for the thanks for the question <laughs> or the whatever this Holy is. Shit, I'm dead. Thanks for the facts us question. Uh, Hydro33 asks, have you ever heard of a super pylon? End the Reddit debate. Oh, Thanks. Okay, so let me let me give the, the let me give the story here. So here? someone someone posted a thread on Reddit and they were it was something about a super pylon, referencing a super pylon. Hmm. And how you know that, that apparently to them that means a fast warp in pylon. And I'm sitting here being like, I've never heard that in my life. What are you talking about? A super pylon. Anytime I've heard super with a, with something like that is with like overcharge, like pylon yeah. overcharge, you know? So I like, I'm like saying like, I don't think I've ever heard that before. I think I've only ever heard it in terms of super pylon or in terms of pylon overcharge. And then there's like a whole bunch of people in there telling, saying that it's actually like, it's a fast warp in pylon. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I never heard this. I did a, I did a, a, re a poll on Twitter and it was like super close. It was like really. It was like it was like sixty to forty. Like the 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 pylon overcharge one won, but I was still so amazed that so many people said super pylon was a fast warp in pylon. Have you ever have either of you ever called it that? No. No. Why yeah, would that? Who the fuck would ever say that? In fact, that's what I'm saying. I get to choose. I, I cast the GSL. That's not a super pylon. <laughs> I never heard. I of that. fucking I did some like deep research, and by deep research I mean I I asked the question in the All Things Protoss Discord server, and like two people were like, uh, "Winter says that oh all my the time." God. So I was like, "Oh, it's so this is fault. like a so this is like a winter or and some other people debate versus everyone else kind of thing, you know?" So apparently this is like winter and some other people that that do this. So if you want direct your hate towards them. And no one else. Okay. All right. Thanks. No, uh, I, lo I love. I'm glad that we could end this end this debate for for Reddit and yeah. everyone. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Winter, you got to stop that shit, man. Super pound. What yeah. the fuck are you talking about? All right. Uh, Knocked cop asks. By now, we probably heard your well reasoned argument as to why you favor one ASTL team over the others. Could everyone try to come up with a silly reason, please? Mine, the player names on Light's team make up the only decent phrase, meaning all others will have content with a Light Mini H. All right, so he's talking about ASTL teams. Hold on a second. Pull that up for us. What the fuck are we talking about? I mean, I know what oh. ASTL is, yeah, but what, yeah. what's the context? So he's talking about like what the best team is, like if there's like a meme team or something like that. All right, let me throw this in. What are the I still me, I'll link you one sec. Here. There you go. Uh, what is the price? Uh, Africa TV players, Soma, sorry, I for sure. Mm. Is there a meme team? Let's see. Not really. They're all they're the teams are actually very good, but I bet you like login media because it has Bravo in it. Me? Yeah, man. Uh, Weren't you a huge Bravo fan? No, man. What? The <laughs> yes, you fucking were. What are you talking about? You were a huge Bravo yeah, fan. No, I do. Like, that was fucking good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't you was. start with me, you fucking Bravo yeah. fan. You. It's okay. <laughs> you don't have to be ashamed. <laughs> I will, I, will, I, will, I will lock in Socrates Tokboki only because that is a fucking hilarious name and it's got Starfoot Gamer in it and Bisu, the sexiest gamer, <laughs> gamer of all time. Starfoot so gamer, yeah. there we go. That's 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 what I'll that's my that's my pick. 
I think it's hilarious that there's no Zerg players on Aurorio. Oh my god. Zerg is the best race, so it's like, what? what are someone, we... in your chat, someone in your chat say, next question, please. Daum <laughs> <laughs> Chimur. Next question. Put a, put a right, question in there, buddy. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you for Be the change uh, you want to see. <laughs> Be the change you want to see. Thank you for the question, uh, Knocked Cap. Uh, and Alessander, our wonderful Alessander, makes our show notes every week. Uh, says, Special's hair looking good. Who cut it for you? Oh, so in my in my in my building is in the floor number two. There's a there's a shop there. So I went there and I saw her a picture. Make me like this guy. Make me handsome. I say that in Korean. He say, mm-hmm. "You're already handsome, but I will do it for you." Damn. And that's what happened. That's that's the story. That's like well, the classic uh... Korean hairstylist thing, right? Like they they yeah. really try to warm you up, don't they? Oh, fuck you, man. No, I'm not. So, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, that, that, okay, that's. I guess that did sound kind of toxic, but I wasn't meaning. Yeah. That. I was you not know, meaning it like that. I promise. Okay. I, I got my haircut last week, and I didn't get any question on the panel show about my haircut. But I'll tell. <laughs> I I went to this haircut place up in Shinshan, uh when mm-hmm. I lived in Shinderim, which was quite close by, for like five years. And they did a great job and they really knew how to cut my hair and like it all was always looking good. And then when I moved down here to Boondong, I just started going to a place nearby and got terrible haircuts for two fucking years. And eventually my wife's like, you're going back to Shinshan. So now I have to fucking ride. I do three hours of transit to get my hair cut. Bro, what? Bro! Bro. Buddy, what? Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Scarlett used to do that. Three hours. Well, not three hours. We used to live in Incheon. Mm-hmm. And she would go to Gangnam to do her fucking hair because she spoke English. So she <laughs> well, would stay like two hours. You got to get your hair done right. It's the way to do it. That's why I let my hair grow really long before I go up because I'm so lazy to go for three hours. It's an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. So annoying. Damn. All right. Man. Good. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's all the, the Patreon questions. Quick show today. Thank you guys for coming on. A big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters, especially our big hundred dollar supporters and or 250 Whoa. thank you guys so much Muchas um, gracias. that's uh Benjamin, <laughs> shane Asterfin, and jerry wang super supporter Benjamin. thank you uh and of course everyone that supports pile on show thank you guys it's it's why the pile on show is around and it's very appreciated guys thank you for coming on on quite short notice the night before i'm glad that we did get to do a little bit of a preview i feel really pumped guys check out uh super tournament tomorrow Right, it's awesome. tomorrow and day after tomorrow, watch me win. Yes, <laughs> indeed. And uh, me and Tasis will be casting it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, all these players coming down in the studio. So finally, we get some live StarCraft once again. Uh, big cheers to uh, everyone on the Pylon Show team and everything. Uh, Juan, you have any closing words where people can follow you and stuff? Yeah, for sure. Uh, just follow me on my Instagram, Specialist 2 my Twitter, Specialist 2 underscore C2, sorry. And at my Twitch, uh, at Special underscore, I will type in the chat. That's my Twitch. And yeah, you s- follow me there and watch me try to win tomorrow. Well, day after tomorrow, so I play the day after mm-hmm. tomorrow. All right. Wow, you kind of just dropped it right off there at the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> you, well, like you were in the middle of a me, sentence and you stopped talking. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, okay. I, I, a lot of people ask me to make OnlyFans, but I don't know, man. Not not yet. Not yet. Yeah. You gotta, <laughs> we got to see if you can win some more tournament money before you turn to that. All right. Gemini, what about you? Where can people find more? Always at ggemini19 on Twitter. Uh, I'm happy to be on the 119th episode of the Pylon Show. Feels very fitting. I'm quite happy that that lined up with the stars <laughs> in that way. Um, I love coincidences like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, follow me there if you want some some hot tweets. Um, I guess YouTube slash Gemini underscore 19. I promise I will have some sort of video coming on there eventually. Uh, I have a bunch of half finished videos that are going to be finished hopefully soon. Um, Twitch, you know, Gemini SC2. I don't stream super often, but whenever I do, if you want to see a budget artosis, 
streaming Protoss ladder. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting a little mad here and there, you know. You can see me sniping with Zerg. What's that? You can see me sniping you with Zerg sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I have every every now and then <laughs> special 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 needs just a little bit more attention, and then he goes and stream snipes a thirty viewer stream. And he beats me a little bit, you know. Jesus. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, follow me there if you want. Um, uh, root for trap tomorrow in super tournament unfortunately i will be at work when he's playing which sucks but oh, i will try shit. to have his the stream up on the background with my as my i'm teaching my sixth graders and <laughs> not getting distracted hopefully <laughs> uh but yeah that's it thanks for having me again right. kind of funny yeah. that i'm i just felt like i just did this <laughs> oh yeah before we <laughs> yeah no, i know that episode was just a few days ago so before, uh, before i go i have a question yeah yeah what the fuck is traps hair what is that he needs a hair because he called, needs it's it. Called a, it's called a, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? It's it's called a, it sounds ridiculous. Wait, what, it, it's like a spit, sw uh, it sounds so stupid. It's like some sort of weird perm. I don't know. I don't remember what exactly it's called, but it's kind of a stupid name. <laughs> but I don't know. That's, that's He needs that. a haircut, do we agree? What's up? He needs a haircut. He needs a haircut? I, don't know, I think that happen. Trap should shave his head and get a goatee. I think he would. That is sick, not like, what he needs. That is not what he needs. He did do what, like a long time ago. You know, you remember the you remember the Skrillex haircut where like half of your hair is like super shaved and the other half half's like kind of long. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Oh, I remember. Yeah, that. no, I know what you mean. He yeah. actually did that one time. Oh shit! Like a long time ago. It looks so stupid. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> I'm like, it, I'm like it's so stupid. But uh, tweet uh, he, that he, picture, he, Gemini. He, I will, but yeah, he looks. Uh, he he likes his hairstyles. He he likes he likes experimenting. I don't, you know, power to him, man. Cool. All right, cool man. Uh, that that does it for the Pylon Show. Thanks, guys, again, and big thanks to the whole Pylon Show staff for making this happen. And guys, we will be back uh, next week, probably at the regular time rather than this time. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get us up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. See ya, boys. What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in StarCraft. What a week it has been, and what a week it will be. Oh, man, I can't wait. Uh, we got so much going on. StarCraft 2 and Brood War. Let's get straight into the action of what has been happening this week in StarCraft. Every week, of course, we feature four major events. We'll talk about these a little bit here. The ESL Weekly Cups still going on. The GSL Super Tourney number one. And, of course, the Afrika StarCraft Team League ASL in Brood War. And look at that, our fourth entry today. The Platinum Heroes Coach Clash 7. Oh, I'm jazzed. Let's get into it. ESL Open Cups. They're still happening. In fact... Uh, I'm recording this on a Monday, and they're still happening right now. So we don't know who the winners are for uh, North America yet. We do know who won Korea this week. Uh, Zest taking out time, but what a run by time. Look at that, man. Taking out Creator 3-1, taking out Nice 2-0. Sick run by time. Zest winning 3-1, though. Cast, of course, by the Cranky Ducklings, Mint Crystal. The 3D Clan in Russian, and Inu in Korean. So good stuff there for the Korean Cups. The GSL Super Tourney, I'm going to skip this slide because I believe we have a special guest this week. I'm going to be talking about it in a little bit more depth. The ASL Season 2. Oh, yeah, boys and girls. Or the ASTL, rather. Uh, it's amazing. Already happening here. We've got You can see the dates here in the top corner. Week 2 happening after the round robin uh, event occurring. Uh, Socrates beating Team Africa 3-1. And uh, Login beating Jung Yijin 3-2 as well. Looks like Misu 0 Miso, Zero, Light, Mini, Soma, Sock, Bisu, Larva. Uh, wow. Good games there. Good games. Looking forward to seeing the rest of these, uh, these play out. Uh, ASTL happening. Brought to you, of course, by a couple of handsome nerds with whom you might be familiar. And something you might not be as familiar with, a slightly less famous tournament, the Platinum Heroes Coach Clash. This is their seventh one they've done, happening this Sunday, the last day of January the 31st, open to coaches of the Platinum Heroes community. Uh, guys, if you don't know Platinum Heroes, go check them out. They got an awesome Discord. They're, they're kind of how I got my start in StarCraft almost. Uh, and if you're like Platinum League or below, the Discord is like free replay analysis, coaches that are always willing to hop in and help. Uh, just just amazing if you're looking to grow your StarCraft talent. So check out the Coach Clash on the, on the 31st to show off how good some of those coaches are. And we move on to this week 
in StarCraft. It looks like it looks like you're seeing double here. Wild. Wild. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to Ladder Heroes. North America Ladder Heroes. It's still happening, guys. Mio Micah is still the greatest player in North America. Now, Neens is coming up close behind him there. Look at look at Neens. She's at 7,900 points right now. So only about 300 points behind. But Mio Micah has been on top of the NA Ladder Heroes since I think we started? This is wild. Um, Neens back in the... Back in the two slot there. Come on, somebody take him out. Somebody take him out. Oh, the Theater of Dreams. This is a great event. Happened uh, last Thursday. Rainer ended up winning 3-2 over Trap. A really nice event. If you didn't if you didn't get a chance to check it out, uh, I'm sure the VODs are available. You can type uh, exclamation point notes in the chat to find the show notes. And that'll help you find all the, the VODs and stuff. Of course, it wouldn't be a week without 37,000 into the Alpha X events. They are always putting something on for us. And look at this. Uh, a best of, what, 11? Woohoo! With Rogue and TY. TY, the StarCraft commentator, doing much better than Rogue, the StarCraft player. Just goes to show you, kids, if you want to be happy, successful, and wealthy in life, start commentating StarCraft. The end of the Alpha X Trovo series there. Another little four-player event. Cure winning that Grand Finals. 3-0 oh, over Dream. The other end of the Alpha X Trovo weekly here. Dream sweeping past uh, Hurricane and Zest. Defeating Solar. 4-1 to one in the Grand Finals. Again, all of these available on uh, trovo.live slash Kozan for into the, uh, into the TV with Inu. Bel Air, the 3D Clan. All the usuals. Great content. Great content. The Alpha Pro Series show match. Eraj Fire, the young Frenchman, uh, dropping to Lilikanin, uh, the Danish player. And can I just say, Eraj Fire uh, is 15 years old, and he looks like he swam around in the Fountain of Youth for about six months as a child. Uh, he looks more youthful and, and, vi and vital. Like he has more vitality than, than I think I've ever felt in my life. Amazing. Uh, a good showing by Eraj Fire, but Lilikanin, the little bunny, taking him out. Ah, the Psy Storm StarCraft League, the PSL here. This is the league for all the Filipino players. The first round is over. They're into the second round now with uh, Ender and David Bain. I can't believe David Bain is not a Zerg player. What a missed opportunity. Uh, with uh, in going out in Group A, and then Nux and Pobbles in Group B. So it looks like those qualifiers are, uh, pardon me, Group C and D are coming up January 30th. And then they'll have a, a round of eight starting in February. This is all available to you on Trovo.live. Commentated by Freedom and organized by Carl JG. Very cool to see a little local Filipino event popping up. Some more local events. I don't know about local, but Latin America event here. The Sentimiento Latino uh, with number 101. Uh, I think I gave them a tip of the cap last week, but congrats to Sentimiento Latino for getting into the triple digits in the events you're putting on. Unbelievably cool. Uh, Ryu. Ryu, I I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of Street Fighter, so I don't know which is correct. Uh, but but the, the Peruvian Zerg player took out his fellow countryman Neo in the Grand Finals 3-0, and what a run from Ryu. Over Jim Rising, over Sinner. Very nicely done. Congrats to them. 140 USD. Very nicely done. The CSO Challenger. This was the cup for us from CSO, the South African Esports Organization. Uh, Paranoid Monk. Look at these fresh names coming out at the end of the bracket here. Uh, this is bronze to 3,500 MMR. So uh, this week is their, their sort of slower slower one, the CSO Challenger. Uh, Legend K, the French commentator. Looks like he lost to a Paranoid Monk 3-0 there in the grand finals. Very cool. Very cool. Good work, CSO. Ah, yes, Chicken Man's Cock o the Walk. Uh, the only tournament sponsored by the chicken based superhero StarCraft commentating community. Uh, $50 StarCraft Weekly with OSC, Match Arena, and Patreon kicking in. Uh, part of the OSC Super Series now. So Co uh, Chicken Man has been rolled into all of that OSC stuff. Man, it's cool. They're putting on so much good stuff. Uh, congrats to Vanya taking out Max Packs 3 2 in the grand finals with Cham and Christiana. Hot on their heels. And the more recent, Cock of the Walk, number 42, with uh, Max Pax, 3-0, over Keej. Oh, a good run by Keej there. Taking out Hopped and B. Whoa, Keej. 
Looking strong, my man. Not quite strong enough to upset Max Pax. Looks like Max Pax Bonumet on the bottom side of the bracket this time in the semifinals. <laughs> and of course, we all know the NA Apprentice is back, baby dolls, with a Code S, Code A style format, promising to be just chef's kiss beautiful. Uh, we've got our Code S group stage ready to roll here. Uh, every name you could expect in the dates right there. Beomulf with Group A, Passer with Group B, Beomulf with Group C, and Passer with Group D. It's going to be real good. Going to be real good. And of course, the 2021 NA Contender Season 1. This is for players under GM. Uh, groups G and H have finished up, and now we are in the playoffs. Congrats to Oil Town, Chelsea Fan, Drumhead, Psystorm, Cami Green, and look at that, my favorite Canadian commentator who is also a superhero, Captain Canuck, making it through. Uh, these uh, quarterfinals, pardon me, these uh, round of 16 is coming up. Ooh, I don't know when. You'll have to check the Liquipedia. Check the show notes. And that's when you can check the next uh, round, the playoff round for the NA Contender Season 1. Of course, Warty TV 2021's big event started up just this week. Cure Zest and a laser out of Group A. T.Y. Rayner and Clem out of Group B. Man. You know it's a tough bracket when freaking Geralt goes 0306. Jeez, he is so good. It's terrifying to see him getting rolled by by just other amazing players. Uh, what a cool event. Groups are going to resume January 28th. I think there's two more groups to go, and then they get into the playoffs for uh, for the Wardy 2021. The Exxon Cup Open, brought to you by Swinter, Steadfast, Beowulf, and the sponsor Tantalizing... Terrariums. Again, if that's spelled incorrectly, I'd be real disappointed. Terrarium is usually spelled with an E, not a first A. But you know what? I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Uh, looks like Neens took the win this week over Psy. One, two, three. Psy, a name out of nowhere. Over Cham, over Patty Mac? Wow. Really good. Very competitive matches this week. Uh, Vanya grabbing third place there. Beating Cham out two to one. And Legacy Weekly Japan is back. An look at that. Another freaking birthday for Legacy for a, for a tournament. 250. Holy crap. A quarter of a thousand of these events. Gee, many Christmas. Uh, managed by Horikun for Japanese folks who uh, read, write, speak Japanese, and have Japanese nationality. Uh, all the usual names at the end of this one. Albion 2-0 over Vise Ravana with uh, Tokisada and THTXD. Moving through as well. Uh, Cyar getting knocked out by Albion early in the tournament this time. All right. Uh, but usually very familiar faces here. And of course, the three winged angel. This is my tournament, so I can't spend too much time on it. But uh, oh man, we just finished up with group A. Skillis and Goblin moving forward into the groups, into the uh, playoff bracket, the round of eight. Sort of has been relegated to the uh, special qualifier event on Thursday. Uh, where he'll have to play a one v a series of one v one v one free for alls against the other two players who get third place in their groups. Man, this is going to be so much fun. Group B is tomorrow. Group C is Wednesday, or sorry, Group B is Tuesday. Group C is Wednesday, and the special qualifier event is Thursday. We got a break on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are the finals. Uh, let's see. We had uh, Chicken Man and Renegade casting today. Tomorrow's Grant and Steadfast casting. And then we got Chicken Man and uh, somebody else on Thursday. Maybe Beowulf on Thursday? It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Available in French, Polish, Russian as well. Ah, the Golden Llama. La Llama Dorada La Spira. Beautiful. Uh, Ryu, 3-0 over Zions. Ryu cranking another event through. Taking the gold there. Nicely done. 3-0 over Zions. With Everness and Shelby in the in the semifinals, some good new names there from our Peruvian folks. Excellent work there, and congrats to uh, to Ryu. Glad to see La Lama Dorada doing well. Demon Swap and the Cranky Ducklings covering the event. Some drunk Canadians, winner winner. I'll buy your dinner. Max Pax wins for the second week in a row over Lilikanine. Uh, Thirty bucks worth of takeout. Max Pax is a growing young boy, and he needs all the nourishment he can get. I'm sure he bought something healthy and responsible that was not a pizza. Because he won a pizza last week in the Pizza Pie Bi-Weekly. And, uh, you know, you can't, you can't have pizza two times a month. That's absurd. That's just bad for you. Come on.
Pizza Pie Bi Weekly comes back this week, 31st. Sign up to win $80 and a pizza. Insane. And of course, we've been hyping it now for a couple months, I think, but no gamer left behind. Coming up soon. Uh, the community day is passed on January the 22nd. I'm sure it was a ton of fun. And uh, now the main event, February 5th through the 7th. It's going to be awesome. They're looking for players and casters for the charity tournament. First prize, I believe, is $100 and a plaque. So if you want to impress your parents, hang something on your wall. Check out No Gamer Left Behind on uh, twitch.tv slash daw underscore station. All the info in the show notes. Ah, the Mara League, led by Mara Lekos. What a handsome fella. Uh, currently registering a bunch of folks. Uh, he's going to start this new league on February 8th. Depends on how many people sign up. So if you're a German-speaking person and you want to uh, to compete in a German-speaking tournament, go speak some German with Mara Lekos. You can check out the Liquipedia, the Match Arena, and get all the information you need to, to register. Should be really cool. Ah, the Alpha X Junior Championship Circuit is back. This is for players who are 17 years old and under and have not earned any points in the EPT circuit. And it looks like they are back February 16th, man. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, and a new format as well. Two regular seasons in February and April. Super Tournament in May. Two more regular seasons June, August. Super Tournament September. Two more regular seasons, October, December, and then the Global Finals in January 2022. So if you're under the age of 17 and want to make some scratch here playing StarCraft, we need you in the Alpha X Junior Championships. Check it out. Twitch.tv slash, I think it's Alpha XSC2. All the info in the show notes. And a new tournament with some dope-ass artwork. The Green Skin Invitational. Many goblins enter, but only a few may rise to green skin glory and fame. <laughs> what is this? I love it. February the 19th at 9.15 p.m. Sign up on the Discord to participate in the Holdout Challenge against the infamous Cannon Rusher Grimmy. So uh, the longer you survive, the more money you win. I love this. Grimmy the Raid Boss, Chicken Man the Co-Caster. Streamed live on Twitch. The VODs are up on YouTube, too. So if you want to see some of the uh, some of the hilarity going down, now's your chance. This week in Brood War, we move now to our to our dad, Brood War, that we all love and respect. Uh, the KCM Challenge Race Survival is finally over with uh, Zerg beating Protoss in the semifinal and then that grand final. Team Terran seeded in. Just too, Rush is too good, man. If I recall correctly, Rush won like most of the games in the group stage play anyway. So the grand finals are TVZ with Terran. Take it out. Congrats to Rush, Sorry, and Light. Condolences to Soma, Larva, Zero, and Sulky. The Shinhan Tank Pro League still going. Soul Gaming still undefeated. Wow, a 6 or uh, 5-0 for Soul. Goodness gracious. Tons of results here. You can check it out on the Liquipedia page. And uh, all those VODs up on YouTube as well. So, man, unbelievable. Just just beautiful for Seoul. The Torneo del Tioaz. Won by Black Soul. 25 this week. What is what is 25 in... in oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I was going to say in Spanish, but I think this is Portuguese. So uh, I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, I was confused, though, because I'm dumb and white. Uh, Torneo de Teleaz is finished up now with uh, Zodiac Gemini-esque in second place. Congrats to Black Soul, 25. And the Rogue City Rumble. All the qualifiers happening last week, and we have got the entire tourney finished up. Whip Whip beat Neshdev06. Congrats to Whip Whip, who it looks like, wow, not seated. Look at, look at this tournament. Whip Whip not given a courtesy seed into the round of uh, round of 16. And then going 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2 Didn't drop a map. Get into that grand finals. Congrats. Goodness gracious. The SSC AIT, the Artificial Intelligence cast. What is this? Yeah, they're up to 56 AI bots playing StarCraft. And just, you know. Huge shout out to the people who name these bots. I always feel like naming StarCraft bots is a job on par with naming like fingernail polish colors or, or paint colors, like the greatest job in the world. Just naming colors and naming StarCraft bots. It's gotta be fun. Banana Brain, 
Mad Mix, Iron Bot, and then for some reason, Marion Deveca, just like a name, you know. Beta Star, who was good at StarCraft, but not as good as Alpha Star. And then uh, Willy T, famously named after the uh, fishing angler from Stardew Valley. Steam Hammer, named after the famous uh, 1970s yacht rock band Steely Dan. And Purple Wave, named after what happened to me when I stored a lot of uh, a lot of great popsicles in my freezer, and then my cat unplugged my freezer. That's not a true story, but how great would it be if it was? The uh, round of 16 is underway now. Check them out on twitch.tv slash SSCAIT. And that's it, kids. Shorter week this week, but there's a lot going on as we all start prepping for IEM Katowice and the uh, ASTL continuing. Uh, remember, if you want to submit your own event, your own tournament, your own initiative to This Week in StarCraft, hit us up on Monday or before so we can squeeze you in under the wire when I record on Wednesday mornings. Bit of an exception this week, but try and get your stuff in by Monday. Anything we get after that, we can't promise we'll be in the show, but we'll do our best. And with that, we're finished up. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next week in StarCraft. <laughs>